I'm healthier than a 20-year-old. That's not me talking. That's Dr. David Sinclair, a 54-year-old Harvard professor of genetics. And here's the shocking part. His blood tests prove it. Look at this photo from 2013 when he was 44. Now look at him today at 54. Something's different, isn't it? Most of us expect to look older as the years pass, but Dr. Sinclair, he actually looks younger. So what changed? His diet, his exercise, his entire approach to aging. And today, I'm going to share exactly what he does. Because if a Harvard scientist can reverse his biological age, shouldn't we at least know his secrets? Stick with me. By the end of this video, you'll have five practical strategies you can start using today. No expensive equipment, no complicated science, just real advice that could add healthy years to your life. Forget spending hours at the gym. Dr. Sinclair's advice? Exercise three times a week and lose your breath. That's it. You want to be moving so fast that you cannot carry out a conversation easily, he says. That's when you know you're low in oxygen, and this triggers your body to build muscle, improve blood flow, and slow aging. Just 10 minutes, three times a week, that's all it takes to lower your risk of disease by 30%. Think about that. A brisk walk where you're slightly out of breath, some scares, dancing in your living room, whatever gets your heart pumping for those 10 minutes. You don't need a gym membership. You don't need fancy equipment. You just need to move. Now here's where it gets interesting. And this might surprise you. It's not just what you eat. It's when you eat. Dr. Sinclair eats all his food within a six-hour window each day. Most days, he skips breakfast and lunch entirely, eating only dinner. I'm not always successful, he admits, but my goal is to not eat a large meal until dinner. And when I do eat, it's a very healthy, plant-based meal. Why does this work? During those long hours without food, your body does something remarkable. It starts cleaning itself from the inside. Scientists call it autophagy, your body recycling old, damaged proteins and cells. It's the period of not eating that's so important for boosting your body's defenses against aging, Dr. Sinclair explains. Studies show that fasting can help with diabetes, multiple sclerosis, even cancer treatment outcomes. But here's the practical part. If you want to try this, Dr. Sinclair has a trick. Fill your body with fluids, coffee, tea, hot water all day long. Being hydrated takes away the feeling of hunger. Start with 16 hours of not eating. That could mean finishing dinner at 7 p.m. and not eating again until 11 a.m. the next day. Eight of those hours, you're sleeping anyway. Your liver will adapt in about two weeks. After that, Dr. Sinclair says his memory improved, his skin looks better, and he feels better than ever. Dr. Sinclair went almost completely plant-based, but not just any plants. He focuses on what he calls stress plants, vegetables that have been challenged by their environment. Why? Because when plants are stressed, they produce protective compounds called polyphenols. And when we eat those plants, we get the benefits. Think about it. A plant grown organically in a field, fighting off pests and weather, is producing chemicals to survive. We eat that plant. And those same chemicals activate our body's defenses. Eat bright red, purple, and dark green vegetables, Dr. Sinclair advises. Those colors mean they're full of polyphenols that can turn on your body's defenses. His specific choices, matcha green tea every morning, packed with anti-inflammatory compounds, spinach, full of iron and vitamins, olive oil, which activates longevity genes, and Mediterranean or Okinawan-style meals, if pure vegetarian feels too hard. For decades, Dr. Sinclair ate mostly Japanese vegetables and soy with a little fish. Then he went fully plant-based. He says, my body has responded. I look better. My skin is better. My memory is certainly better. The science backs this up. People who live the longest tend to be smaller individuals who don't eat much and who eat mostly plants. That's just the data. Now, Dr. Sinclair is careful to say, I don't sell any supplements. I'm not endorsing any brand. I'm just sharing what I personally take. Here are his three. 
One, resveratrol, one gram daily, the red wine compound found in grapes. It activates longevity genes called sirtuins that protect against aging. He mixes it with a bit of yogurt each morning. Two, NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide, a form of vitamin B3 that boosts NAD levels in your body. NAD is essential for those sirtuins to work, and as we age, our NAD levels plummet. By taking the supplement, we can double NAD levels back to when I was age 20, Dr. Sinclair says. Early studies show it may lower cholesterol and blood pressure. 3. Metformin a diabetes drug that's one of the world's safest medications. Studies show people who take it tend to live longer, even if they don't have diabetes. It appears to protect against heart disease, frailty, and even Alzheimer's. Again, talk to your doctor before starting any supplement regimen. This is what works for him based on his research. Sometimes what you don't eat matters more than what you do eat. Sugar. Enemy number one. The big killer is sugar, Dr. Sinclair says bluntly. When you've got high blood sugar, it attaches to proteins in your body. You become caramelized. Cancer cells feed on sugar. Your best predictor of longevity? Your blood sugar levels. But here's hope. Your liver can make its own sugar. You just need to give it two weeks to adjust. After that, you won't have those hunger spikes and crashes anymore. If you need sweetness, try monk fruit, stevia, or erythritol instead. Bread and carbs. First thing I cut out was a lot of carbohydrates. I used to eat bread every day, Dr. Sinclair admits. I cut that out and found immediate improvements in my glucose levels. That toast for breakfast? It spikes your blood sugar, then crashes it, leaving you hungry and foggy-brained an hour later. Now, with steady blood sugar from his liver, Dr. Sinclair says, I've never been so focused. I've never been so brain fog free. Meat, mostly. I love meat. It tastes really good. It's just the science says plants give you better bang for the buck for longevity. The protein in plants has a better amino acid ratio for activating longevity genes. If you eat meat every meal, your body's just not fighting aging the way it could. His compromise? Occasional fish for omega-3s. But focus on plants. Dairy. Dr. Sinclair wasn't lactose intolerant. He just tried cutting it out to see what would happen. It made things even better. He believes reducing overall protein intake helped activate a longevity pathway called mTOR. Alcohol. The new research just over the last two years says that drinking alcohol every day is really not good for you. He's cut it out. But if you can't give up wine entirely, choose Pinot Noir. It's the most stress-sensitive grape variety and has the highest levels of resveratrol. Let me bring this home for you. Dr. David Sinclair is 54 years old. His blood work shows he's biologically younger and healthier than most 20-year-olds. He didn't get there with expensive treatments or complicated protocols. He got there with five simple changes. Move vigorously three times a week for just 10 minutes. Eat within a six-hour window. Skip breakfast or dinner. Fill your plate with colorful, stressed planets. Think Mediterranean or Okinawan. Consider evidence-based supplements after talking to your doctor. Cut out or dramatically reduce sugar, bread, meat, dairy, and alcohol. You don't have to do all of this tomorrow. Start with one change. Maybe it's skipping breakfast and having your first meal at lunch. Maybe it's adding more spinach and green tea to your day. Maybe it's just taking a brisk 10-minute walk three times this week. The beautiful thing? Dr. Sinclair wishes he'd done this in his 20s, but he didn't. He started later, and it still worked. You're not too old. It's not too late. Your body is waiting for you to give it the right signals. And when you do, it will respond. Your energy will improve. Your mind will clear. Your health markers will shift. As Dr. Sinclair puts it, by living a healthy life, 
you can slow that rate of aging and prevent this corruption of the body and even reboot it. So start today. Start small, but start. Your future self, 10, 20, 30 years from now, will thank you for what you do right now. What will you change first? Let me know in the comments below.